This month marks the 100th anniversary of Ronald Reagan. And today on Watch Waddle, we will be commemorating one of his greatest legacies. From sports to radio, movies to television, from governor to president, the man has accomplished just about everything. So what can we commemorate? Well, as president, he did do Star Wars, and by Star Wars, I mean Missile Command. As governor? Well, I never really lived in California. Might as well be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get to the chopper! In acting? Well, he had some good dramatic parts. Must be difficult for a man who has spent a lifetime stirring up a certain sort of goddamn knowledge that does. Uh... But we're going to talk about his greatest legacy, the Cartoon Toy Act of 1981. It all started back in the 1960s. Artists and animators from all over were all ready to do a Hot Wheels cartoon. But the FCC and the NAB decided otherwise. Which sucks, because they could have called it the cartoon. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, skip two decades ahead, and Reagan and his administration is in. Along with his new FCC chairman, Mark Fowler, the restriction was lifted, and cartoons and toys were brought together. And as a result, in the 1984 election, Ronald Reagan won thanks to the all-powerful cartoon character vote. Okay, I exaggerated that ending there. Be as that may, as a cartoon character, I'm going to tribute Ronald Reagan through the power of art. For example, art in our currency. Counterfeiter! Yeah! Or our art in monuments and sculptures. Hey, he's on the monument! Get him! Or by adding him to our yearly February presidential holiday celebration. Closed! Ah, the blue law today! And in closing, on behalf of toy cartoons everywhere, thank you, Ronnie. Oh, I'm fine. You been getting any lately? Overtime, you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>